Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we are back to get up to some more monkey shines uh, today with Donkey Kong Jr. Um, those who may have been watching for a bit know that we're excellent at the Donkey Kongs. Stellar. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> All right. You know, I really do like this franchise. I just, I've never been good at any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Even the later ones where they, like, change up everything. And you'd think, oh, well, you know, okay, so you weren't good at, like, the weird platforming. Well, this one has, like, lots of climbing. Oh, I'm yeah. still really bad yeah. at it. Oh, well, how about this one? It has, like, a rhythm game. Now, I'm, I'm rubbish <laughs> at it. But, uh... Oh, we're doing alright so far. It always has iconic characters. And, you know, it's really cute. Oh. What were you uh -oh. saying? <laughs> Jump. Trying. <laughs> it wasn't letting me. I was stuck on that uh, ledge there. Apparently if you hug it too closely, uh, mm -hmm. that counts as, you know... Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you climb faster if you're holding on to two of those at once. Oh, right. Strats. Yeah. No, I can't just go there. That would be too easy. Ah, uh, you fell <laughs> too far. Yeah. Whatever arbitrary distance there is. Okay. Well, I made it out of Tutorial Town this time. I remember that was, that was quite the challenge for me last go-around, so... Yeah. Good old Donkey Kong. So, the button to jump was not the button. See, I'm playing on a Wii controller. I've got twice as many buttons as the uh, NES, and most of them don't do anything. Because I was like, well, why would I buy another uh, NES controller? And then they became completely unavailable, like everything else. So... And then you just walked right off the cliff. You know, I, I, I jumped and I hit a platform with my noggin. It was not the... Not my proudest moment. <laughs> but, uh... Okay, so... Tutorial Town. We're still doing that. Well, you know... Tutorial Town's good. It's um, nice and safe and comfy. You know, as safe as these things get. Um... So I've always wondered what those things are. I've always assumed crocodiles because of later games, but oh, I have no real yeah. idea. See, I was um, figuring snakes, but crocodiles make sense. As much as anything makes sense. <laughs> hey, all right. Second try, all in. What do we got going over here? So, do you, oh. <laughs> I just slipped right off the edge. I was on there. <laughs> Not even a banana peel to blame it on. Uh -uh. So, do you figure they don't mention this one as much because of the, like, animal trafficking bit? Probably. That makes sense. Or, you know, because the fact that Mario's, like, the bad guy. That's also true. I mean, it doesn't really fit with their branding of, uh... Them being friends and going go-kart racing. Well, not even just the go-kart racing, but just the fact that Mario is always supposed to be the good guy now. That's true. Like... They don't let him do other. Uh, they don't let him do other stuff anymore. That's true. He hasn't gotten wow. any characterization since we were wee children. But hey, I mean that new one looks really promising in that regard. Uh, at the very least, it shows that he has supernatural powers. That's true. Or the hat does. I don't really. I know there's a lot of like grim, dark internet theory going on right, right about now. Oh yeah. That, you know, Mario, Mario hasn't been alive for years. Right. <laughs> but if that's the case, then Mario shouldn't have a mustache oh. the second the hat leaves his head. That's true. If if Cappy is truly the the demonic being in charge of things, then Mario should lose his mustache. Well, I mean, let's give it another shot. I mean, we didn't really yeah. get very yeah. far this, this, this round. There's only, like, two, three stages. Not today, Satan. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. I mean, I think that, uh... Cappy is... Mario's ally in things. 
Oh, sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still means that he's partnering with, like, demons or whatever. But, uh, at the same time, I do think he is still, uh, in control. Mm. That just makes sense to me, anyway. Sure. Um, oh, that's... Like I said, the the, the, the mustache thing is my, my big uh, selling point for my theory. Is that <laughs> everything gets a mustache when you possess it. Whether it's, you know, a human-shaped dude, which is a little weird. Uh, or, uh... Oh, they showed those fish, the, the cheap cheeps. Oh, yeah. You can oh. possess those, and then you have, like, aquatic abilities. That's definitely a thing. Anything to give Mario an edge in swimming. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I didn't die that time. I'm gonna take it. Ooh, shortcut. Yeah. Speed run. <laughs> I'm sorry that we abused that word so <laughs> liberally. Ah, oh, there we go. I was certain that was what I was supposed to do, but it just didn't quite do last yeah. time around. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Making All right. progress anyway. Where does he get all of these birds? Who knows, man. Hey. I was certain I was going to eat one of those right <laughs> to the face as I jumped. Good job. <laughs> we might make it through some more of this one. Now he controls the elemental power of lightning. Oh, right. Well, I mean, after it was his enemy in the last game, I think it's only fair that he... Oh. I stuck my big dumb head out there. Yeah. I think it's only fair that he gets his uh, revenge on the forces of nature. Because, I mean, that fire was absolutely after you in the first game. Oh, yeah, it was. Again, going back to the other game where it literally chased you around the map on the last stage. <laughs> well, we tried to scrape together our childhoods and go, what was the point? What were we supposed to do? We yeah, were supposed to knock stage. all those pins out. Yeah, turns I mean, out. We didn't know those were pins. They were just, you know, big Blocks. chunks of pixel. <laughs> and I, I can't really, you know, complain too much about that. I get it. It's it's an Atari game. That was badly ported to the Nintendo. <laughs> that was badly ported to the Nintendo. Yeah, you were telling me about that. Weren't there more stages originally? Oh yeah, lots more. Like, so the Nintendo, which is, you know, a much more powerful, a much piece more of powerful hardware. piece of hardware. They just, they forgot some of it. <laughs> and of course, I wasn't going to say anything when we were playing it, because they forgot some of it, and we still uh, <laughs> fell short. Yeah. There, was, there was the least amount of Donkey Kong that there could possibly be, and we still were found wanting. But, you know, it's also a game that neither of us had touched in a, a decade easily. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... But yeah, no, we're we're doing a lot better than we did on our uh, our Donkey Kong run so far. I mean, we're still <laughs> making mistakes. We're still doing, you know, we're still novices. Yeah, I'm just, not gonna claim you know, any kind of expertise, but not set that bar up so high we can trip on it or anything. Well, I mean, last last game it was all up to you to make it to the last stage because I couldn't get out of the first one. <laughs> I'd have, like, 75% of a good run, and then, you know, just mm. completely eat it on a barrel. I know. <clears throat> I think you this is going to propose the same problem me. of those being, like, way faster than us. Yeah, Meaning that, that is a problem. And, of course, that we can't jump while moving forward because we won't move fast enough to clear it. Yeah, doing all right so far. As well as watch, I can. Watch for that blue one. It's gonna run that red. Those two right. trade places. Okay, go, jump. Oh, I thought for sure I wasn't <laughs> gonna clear that. I, I was waiting to just land on it with my big butt. Oh, so that boy. noise you hear is literally my brain trying to compute <laughs> what's going on on the screen in time. Jump, to... jump. Oh. Oh god, 
You did it. That computer noise you, you hear is literally donkey. my brain trying to like process all the things going on at the same time. Oh no, Wait, what you is didn't this? save. You got to collect all the keys and unlock all the locks. Oh. I forgot there was four stages in this one. Oh, good call. I think those birds just target you if they're on the same wavelength as you are. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Alright, alright, we got this. This is... this is torment! Look at how slow everything moves that is, you know, me, and how fast everything that is not me moves. Yeah. Bird. Alligator. Oh, I tried. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll switch over real quick. Not enough time. Not I was too enough. close. Okay, so that's what you have to look forward to. Oh, good. It's it's good to know that the last stage isn't incredibly un obtuse or anything. Oh, no. It is simple, simple. In keeping with the uh, proud tradition of the uh, franchise so far. So, I was watching something about, like, super hard extra boss stages. And, uh... I guess Donkey Kong Country, I think it was two or three, has like an extra mode where you have to fight uh, a like souped up version of King Karul. He's like really? uh, Karulenstein. And uh, apparently it is, compared to the rest of the game, just a huge jump in difficulty. Um, because it has a lot of like perfectly timed jumps and uh, you're having to operate a cannon every now and again. There's a, there's a lot of moving parts. Uh, compared to a typical Donkey Kong Country boss fight. Mm. Um, and I will say, it did look rather challenging. Uh, if we continue through the Donkey Kong franchise, I think impossible boss stages may continue to be a trend for us. So yeah, uh, oh, you know I always forget that you can do that. Yeah, I think it's the key to... Oh, you can push two keys up at once, even. Yeah. No, I think if anyone's gonna make it through this stage, I think it might be you. Not to put, like, all the pressure on you, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, no, that's... You're doing you good. You also go down faster if you're only holding on to one. Oh. But it's also useful information. I, like, I vaguely noticed it, but it didn't quite compute that that was what was going on. Oh, man. <laughs> It does just yeah, keep getting harder. Yeah. <laughs> that part of the stage has more stuff going on, just in general. I mean, oh, I'm just noticing that that's where a lot of the birds end up at. No! Oh! <laughs> but no, that's where everything comes uh, down. <laughs> I got distracted by the falling thing killing the... By the way, I didn't know you could do that. That was cool. <laughs> Bird. Bird. So many birds. This game has just given me the bird. Yeah. Go, go, go. Okay. All right. Uh, oh no, uh, no. Done you for. Made, you made you. That was a done bad for. Decision. I made a bad call. And maybe if I'd have dropped to one rope, I could have slid down fast enough to pull that off, but oh yeah. well. Or well, we know what to do. Or... It's just a matter of can we actually, like, execute on this. That one's not all the way in. No, it is not. Uh, How distressing. The, the last signal isn't in place. Oof. I think you're right, though. That technique really does seem to be the only way not to lose your mind trying to do this in time. Because there is, of course, a time factor. Naturally. So, back in the arcade days, this was just, you know, designed to eat quarters. Mm -hmm. A million allowances of quarters, just to try and see if you can push that last key up. Alligator oh, coming. Of course, I got that guy. 
And he gets faster when you're on the rope with him. He knows you're there. Yeah, he goes faster downhill. That's what's going on. Oh, okay. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, you pulled it off! <laughs> Eat it, Mario! <laughs> you know, I thought he was just gonna crush you. Oh, you killed Mario! Yep. He dead. Oh no! <laughs> what is this unending hell? Well, that's just what they did back then. I, I mean, if, if you beat, uh... Oh, there's twice as many alligators. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, if, if you beat uh, Pac-Man, this is just what happened. Uh, and I jumped. Alright, well, we that's Donkey it, Kong. Yeah. We did it. We did it. I even got an extra life. Yeah. Well, I mean, heck, give it a go. Let's see how far you can go with this. You know, I don't think I've ever really used the fruit to, like... Kill things. Yeah. No, I was aware I it was worth just collected points. it. Yeah. I assumed you ate it. Although, I guess, again, the Donkey Kong Country games, that was your projectile weapon. True. Depending True. on which, uh, which Kong you were. Get out of here, what you got, guy. too. I, I think he's just waiting for you. He uh, is your doom. Uh, friggin' edge camper. <laughs> he was just gonna wait out the clock, if nothing else. Alright, well, that's, hey, that's... that's the entirety of Junk Donkey Kong Jr. If you beat it one time, you'd fight more bad guys. Well, I mean, this is this, this is the latest and greatest that 1982 had to offer. I'm sad that it didn't offer Donkey Kong Jr., like, what was it, 2 or 3? There's a mm. math one where there's math attached to all of the, the gators and uh, fruits. We might have to find a copy of that at some point. <laughs> but not tonight. <laughs> all right. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Thanks for watching.